Um, well, ever since I was a little kid, like most people, I did a lot of artwork. Uh, mm -hmm. When I went to college, I really started focusing on doing art more, um, more, I guess. Just I was very focused on art, but I did all kinds of art, like drawing, sculpture, a little bit of painting, uh, printmaking, I was pretty into. And then when I got out of college, uh, I kind of had to focus on one, and I thought painting was sort of my most my most me meaningful and favorite art form. So I think right after college, probably 2001, I you know set up my first studio in my you know studio apartment and just started painting uh, more productively. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. I uh, yeah, I mean, I did live in the cities when I started painting. When I graduated, I moved back to Minneapolis for a little bit and. Um, I started painting animals and things there, but yeah, coming here for sure has uh, broadened my appreciation for landscape, landscape painting, and like the kind of landscapes I set my my animals and my subject matter into. Um, I didn't always know that art was my path. I always knew that I was going to be an artist of some kind. I was always into it. Um, like I had a grandmother who was really influential in my life and she was an art teacher and she taught children and then she um, was an artist, you know, kind of in her evening hours and uh, I love that and I, I have always thought and I still think that anybody's an artist, you know, at, at what they do and things. Uh, but when I, uh, when, I guess like, you know, five or six years ago when, I came, when it occurred to me that, that I wanted to at least try to make a living at it, which is different because I mean there are artists who you know, are mechanics or they do any any number of things, but they're they're artists in either what they do or else they have evenings, they spend their time woodworking or doing these amazing things. But I wanted to actually like make, uh, make it the center point of my life, of, you know, uh, what I do from yeah. day to day. And um, and I guess that's when I really decided that uh, that would be my my path. And I, I never, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll be called away to do something else sometime, but I think for now, like, making artwork is the best way that I'm able to make, make my voice heard. Yeah. And so that's why I, I feel like this is what I want to do uh, with, with my life. Gosh. I, you know, there's not one. I mean, I've made, like, I've made probably 800 paintings in the last 10 years. I can't uh, think of one. I guess, like, the ones I get most excited about are one are paintings that are new like like this painting for me actually mm -hmm. I, I set it up here because I like I'm really proud of it I think it's a really cool painting and um, it has like the elements of animals and, and hum humanity kind of wrapped into it uh, and I like I like that so probably this this is my um, favorite painting that I've ever made but it's also the newest I mean so it's I, my, I think my favorite thing about being an artist is just the work. The work of it is really enjoyable. I mean, I've had a lot of jobs and different kinds of jobs, like bartender and as a boat mechanic and teacher, school teacher. And uh, I like those jobs. They were all fun and meaningful in their own way. But this is like being an artist and being a painter, it has its moments of stress, but it's generally like really fun like you know like every day I go to work and I have my cup of coffee and my slippers I put my music on and it's like a really nice way to spend a work day and not only that it's like it's making something that you know maybe it won't last forever but it's gonna last a long time well past my lifetime and you know well past uh, I mean not every single one of my paintings is gonna last a hundred years but you know like these images that I create they're my they're my own voice and they're my own creations and I like to think that I'm making something that will last a little bit longer than my sort of brief flash of a life. Okay.